morning y'all teaser here kind of a cool morning it's supposed to get back up in the 80s afternoon which is fine with me feeling good i was going to mow the grass quick this morning because they said this afternoon we're supposed to get storms but you know how that goes they read what they're told they don't know nothing uh so i thought i'd mow the grass right quick but then we got a little enough little sprinkle it's all wet so i got 187 other small chores to do so i thought i'd start i got a couple of them done already and i want to change the oil in a splitter so i can move the splitter out to the back for the summer so i kept it in a garage over winter but you know in my view these design engineers that design these layouts, especially car designers, should be required to work in a repair garage for 10 years before they're allowed to design anything. And they could do better. Because this here is a pain in the butt to change, but I got this nifty little thing right here that helps a lot. I've had this 20 years, at least 20 years, maybe more. I don't even remember where I got it. But you loosen this handle here and you pump it three or four or five times and it creates a vacuum in here and you stick this hose down in the oil tank or whatever you want to empty and you open this valve here and it sucks it all right out so um, otherwise this is a real pain in the neck would be a real pain in the neck to change let me show you what we got here and i don't i have a real issue with the design engineers anymore there we go I think that's good right there let me see can you see right there's the drain valve I mean it's pretty open but still it's way down there in how in the hell is it supposed to drain? You know, you got you have to you got to jack up the other side. So, and the fill valve is over on the other side, just about the same height. What kind of retarded thing is that? So, what I do, I got it sitting here pretty level. I put some boards under this one wheel to keep it kind of level. So, lay the cap over here so it don't get lost, which it will anyway. And then. We stick the old tube down in the oil tank, thusly, and we open this little valve on the front here, and you can see the oil flowing down through there. I just cracked the valve a little bit. You don't have to don't have to have it wide open. And you can move the tube around and you can get it all out. Once it starts flowing, we can open the valve a little more. There, now, there, now we got maximum flow rate. You can move the tube around in there. Pretty soon, all the oil will be gone. Now, I saved this oil. I got a couple of old oil cans with a hole cut in the top, small hole. And I use it for lubing the cylinder and the seals and stuff on here when I use it. So, so far, after nine years, I ain't had to replace no seals. So, I think my system's working. See, still sucking oil. If I pull it up out of oil, you can see it sucking air. And we'll put it back down in here. It comes oil. Did you see that? Let me get my hand out of the way. Pull it up. Sucking air. Put it back. Sucking oil. Oh. I don't remember. I might have got this at Kmart years ago. I don't remember where I got it. Someplace, but it was it's a good money. I'm glad I got it. I mean, it makes life easier. And I just use old 10W30 on these engines. I'm old school because I don't split in real cold weather anyway. Order, I do split in hot weather, but not real cold weather. It's still still sucking oil. Little, Sucking air too. It's about out of oil. Not got all the oil. Oh, there comes a little piece of oil. But I think. Oh, let it go to the other side there. Oh, it got a little bit off the other side. Not much. Got the valve wide open now. I'll give it maximum suction. Get out what I can. And it'll be close enough. Now, I don't fret if it, 
Get close. And we go with it. It's still a little out there. Comes a bubble. How much? Yeah, I think we got it all. Got it as much as we're going to get. Now, we just want to pull this out and I put it up. You can see it's sucking air down through there. Let that all drain down in there nice and good for a little bit and we'd be done. Now, we got to put some oil in it. But let's put this hose up here somewhere so it can drain. There we go. That'll work. And they're all drained down into that little tank. Now, yeah. where to put the cork? There it is. It's a cork. It's an old timer saying. It ain't a cork, it's a plastic plug. But. Now we'll go get a can of oil and a funnel and put it in over there. I'll be right back. Alrighty, made it back. Got my can of oil. I don't remember how much it takes. I don't think it takes a full quart. And I got my little finger screws on here so I can get in there. And then I took the drain plug back out because I forgot you gotta watch, you gotta fill it up to the threads in the drain plug, so I forgot. Yeah. What a place for the thing. So we'll put some in. We'll put about a half in and see. We'll look in the hole and see what we got. And I tend to overfill it just slightly. Not a lot, just a little bit. Because when I'm out there splitting wood, I know and you know it ain't always sitting level. So I figure a little extra can hurt. Oh, got to open the valve here, son. Here we go. Oil going in. Oil going in. All right. Let's close the valve. That's a tube drain a second here. We'll take a look in the hole. Take a look in the drain hole and see if we can see oil yet. Maybe it takes more than a quart. I don't know. Oh, I can see it. Oh, yeah. We got plenty. <laughs> we got plenty. We overfilled a little bit, but that'll be all right. Now, we'll put the drain plug back in first. It's about almost a full length, up to full length of the threads. But this area here is not level by any means. I got... Uh, two pieces of wood under this tire and it still wasn't exactly level so by the time it gets level it'll be it'll be down them threads a little bit so it'll be probably just right, right. fill cubs on drain plugs on whoop turned it the wrong way there we go I think I think let me see I think we can classify that as another job well done by the geezer. Hey, I may put this up as an extra this week, just because. And uh, I'm feeling good. My back is almost non-ex non-existent in pain today, so I think we're on the road. I think it was the surgery that caused the new pains. So, and uh, the other issues are starting to clear up pretty good. I'm pleased with the recovery for being a, yesterday at 0730 was one week, so eight days out. Uh, but at any rate, now I can haul this to the back, put a tarp over and let it sit there for the summer. And uh, I might start it up and let it run a little bit. I put the charger on the battery yesterday, get it, make sure it's topped off. Because I disconnected in the winter, and it usually holds a charge then all winter. All right. This is the geezer saying, Friday, 0600. See you there.